hi and welcome to our little 10 to 15 minute asana practice just a little reminder that we don't need to have huge amounts of time in order to get the benefits of the practice that often if we can just set aside 15 minutes it's enough to reap the benefits of yoga and if you enjoy the practice at the end don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and uh, I'd like to continue sharing these practices with you in future so to begin our practice, just make yourself comfortable in a cross-legged position. And once you feel the body settled, just start to lean forwards, trying to keep the back straight and reach out through the hands and the crown of the head. Try to keep the spine fairly straight. So if you can't go very far forward, that's fine. Just listen to your body and do what feels right for you. Try to keep your breath quiet and steady through the nose the whole time. And just take one more smooth breath in. And after you breathe out, gently sit up, reach your arms up high, and then take your right hand down by your side and take your left arm over your head. Just stretch out through the left fingers. Try and lift the left side ribs. And just take one more smooth breath here. And after you breathe out, bring the body back up, reach up through your fingertips, and then just take a little twist to the right. So left hand on the right knee, or the left knee, your choice. Take one more breath. And after you exhale, unravel from your twist, lean back and swap your legs the other way. And once you've settled into that position, just fold forward once more. Make sure the shoulders and the neck stay relaxed and soft. And after one or two more smooth breaths, gently bring the body up. Reach high to your hands. And then take your left hand down by your side, take your right arm over your head and lengthen all the way from the right hip into the right fingertip. Try to lift through the side ribs and anchor through the right sit bone. Just taking a last breath here. And then again, sit back up, reach up through the fingertips and take a little twist to the left. So again, you can choose to have right hand on left knee or right knee, your choice. Try to lift the crown of the head up and gently turn into each exhalation. And just take one more breath here. And after you exhale, unravel your spine. And then make your way into a kneeling plank position. Try to have your palms flat, your hands underneath the shoulders. Let the head hang down and relax the back of the neck. If you feel comfortable to go a little further, pick up the knees, maybe five or 10 centimeters off your mat. Keep the arms strong, the elbows unlocked and the shoulders away from the ears. And just take one more breath here. And after you breathe out, bring the knees to the mat, sit back onto the heels and come into a little child's pose variation. If you can rest your head on the mat, but if not, you can keep it up a little bit and make sure you're broadening across the upper back. And after one more smooth breath, either choose to stay there or lift up into downward facing dog. If you're in down dog, just check your feet are hip width and parallel, hands are shoulder width and parallel. You might like to let the head just rock side to side, relaxing the back of the neck. You might like to gently lift up through the hips. And just take a last breath or two here. Lengthen from the fingertips up to the sit bones, then from the sit bones down to the heels. And after exhaling one more time, gently step to the front of your mat. And if you're tight in the legs, just place the hands on the shins. If you're comfortable, let your body hang forward a little further. 
just take the last one or two breaths here. You might like to gently sway a little. And then press your hips forward, stand all the way up. Reach up to your fingers and if it feels okay, look up past the hands. Then gently bring your hands down in front of the heart and bring your feet together. Breathe out all the way. Then reach your arms high and take a breath in. And folding forward, bring the hands to the shins or the mat and breathe out. Lift your collarbones and take a breath in. And step your left foot back about a metre and a half to a lunge and drop the back knee down. Bring the body up, reach through to the fingers as you breathe in. And then sink into the hips a little further as you breathe out. Bring your hands lightly to the mat and take a breath in. And then gently move the hips back and stretch over the right knee. As you breathe in, bend the right knee, raise the left, and try to pick up your right foot without scraping the mat and step back to downward facing dog. From there, move forward into plank or kneeling plank if you'd like an easier option, and smoothly lower down onto the stomach so the chest and hips touch down at the same time. Then lift the chest and hands, take a smooth breath in. And as you breathe out, stay there or maybe raise the feet. Take one more calm breath through the nose and then press back, lifting hips and chest at the same time and come back to downward facing dog. Take a smooth breath in down dog and try to soften the back of the neck. And as you breathe in, reach the left leg up and back, stretch all the way through to the toes and step your left foot forward into a lunge. Bring the right knee in. Take the arms high, lengthen up into the fingertips as you inhale. And then just gently sink into the hips as you breathe out. Bring your hands lightly to the mat and breathe in. And then fold gently over the left leg, moving the hips back. Now bend your left knee, raise the right and inhale. And step the right foot to meet the left and breathe out. Stand all the way up, sweep the arms wide, reach high to the fingertips. And again, gently fold forward, hands to shins or mat, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Arch the spine, try to lengthen navel to throat. And now step your right foot back and either keep the knee down or keep it up, your choice. Reach the arms up, take a smooth breath in. And sink a little deeper into the hips as you breathe out. Try to keep the back knee strong if it's raised. Take the arms a little higher, maybe a little further back as you breathe in. Then take hands to the mat and move the hips back, stretching gently over the left leg. Now bend the left knee, take a smooth breath in, and picking up your left foot, step it back to downward facing dog. Stay there if you'd like, otherwise move forward into plank or kneeling plank, and smoothly lower down to your stomach and breathe out. Lift the chest and hands as you breathe in, and stay there, or maybe go a little bit further, maybe raise the feet. Take another breath into the chest. You can take up dog if you'd like. And then smoothly and with control, press back into downward facing dog. Take another smooth breath here and try to press the armpits towards the knees. Then reach your right leg high, take a smooth breath in and step your right foot lightly forward into a lunge. Back knee up or down, your choice. Take the arms high and breathe in. And sink gently into the hips as you breathe out. Pull the elbows back, stretch up through the fingertips as you inhale one more time here. Then hands to the mat and gently move the hips back and fold over the right leg. Now bend the right knee, look forwards and breathe in. And step your left foot lightly to the front of the mat. Hands to shins or down if you're comfortable. Then stand all the way up. Reach your arms high, take a breath in. And then bring the hands to the heart and smoothly breathe out. From here, step your left leg back into Trikonasana. So leg distance between the feet. Try to reach the right arm down and the left arm up. And keep the body in line with the legs. Keep the front knee unlocked, but the legs straight. And if you'd like to go a little further, take the left arm forward. One more smooth, steady breath. 
And you should be able to smile. If not, you're doing too much. And then gently bend the front knee a little. Take your hands down either side of the front foot. Just shorten your stance a little and bring the back heel down. Then take your hands on your hips. Bring your body up a little higher. So shoulders higher than hips. And interlace the hands behind the back. Or just hands to hips. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. Try to move a little bit further forward, but keep an arch in the spine. Take one more smooth breath here. And after you breathe out, just bend the right knee again. And see if you can lower the left knee lightly down. Now you've got the option just to bring hands onto the right knee, or bring left heel to the buttock if that's comfortable for you. Keep your shoulders gently pulled back. Just take one more breath here. And from here, moving into a little twist, you can either, with the back foot down and back knee down, just twist the upper body right. Or if you're comfortable, move into Parivrita Pajvakanasana, twisting lunge. If you know deeper variations, you can move into them as well. Wherever you are, try and turn the shoulders, but keep the hips fairly level. Just take one more breath here. And after you exhale, take your fingers to the mat and step the left foot silently forward. Then stand all the way up. Reach your arms high. Try to lengthen the front of the body a little. Lower the hands to the heart and breathe out. And we'll repeat that on the second side. So right leg goes back a leg distance into Trikonasana. Reach the left hand down and the right hand up. Try to keep even pressure in both feet and the shoulders away from the ears. Breath calm and steady through the nostrils. If you did first side, now take the right arm forward and see if you can find a little bit more length in the right side body. Keep the left knee unlocked. Take one more smooth breath here. And after you breathe out, just bend the left knee. Maybe take the fingers to the mat and shortening the stance a little, take your right foot out to the side. Take your hands onto your hips, straighten the front leg again, but not locked out. And either keep hands on the hips, squeezing the elbows in, or interlace with the opposite thumb on top. Pull the shoulders back. Keep the legs strong. And try to keep your back muscles active. Stabilise your spine. Take one more calm breath here. And see if you can pull the shoulders back a little further as you exhale. And then gently bend your left knee. Lower the right knee lightly down. Simple option, hands onto the left knee and pull the front ribs back. Those who can bring the right heel to the buttock. Try to squeeze the right knee forward, perhaps to make it a little stronger. And just take one more calm breath here. After you breathe out, release the foot if you're holding it. Take a simple twist if you did on the first side. Otherwise, try to stand without the arms for assistance and move into the twisting lunge. Particularly those in the deeper twist. Try to keep the head centered in line with the hips so you're not side bending the spine. Don't forget to smile. One more breath. Then release the hands gently to the mat. Look forwards and breathe in. And step the right foot forward and exhale. Then lift the collarbones, arch the spine. Take your hands to the mat and make your way back into downward facing dog. And either stay there and rest or move forward into plank. Stay there or smoothly lower down. Take your version of up dog, whatever feels appropriate right now. And then press lightly back into downward facing dog and exhale. 
Relax the shoulders, just taking one smooth breath here. And then lower your knees to the mat. Cross the ankles. And sitting back, take your left leg out in front and bend your right leg out to the side. Reach up into your fingers and take a smooth breath in. And then to your comfortable capacity, fold forward. So if you're tight in the leg or the back, just hands either side of the shin is fine. If you can do so without force, you can start to fold a little further. Make sure your neck is relaxed. And see if you can keep your eyes closed and focus on what you feel within the body and the rhythm of your breath. And just take one last calm breath here. And after you breathe out, Gently sit back up, reach the arms up high. And take your left hand across to your right knee or thigh and see if you can bring your right arm over your head. So we're looking for a little side stretch now. Keep turning the body so the right shoulder is a little more over the left. Try and reach the right fingers towards the left foot. Just take one more breath here. Try to soften as you breathe out. And then sit back up. Reach the arms high and take a breath in. And take a little twist to the left. So right hand outside the left knee, left hand behind you. Either keep the body in that position or if it's easy for you, bring the left hand to the right thigh and the right hand to the left hip. Wherever you are, Try to lengthen the spine and focus on turning as you breathe out. Just the last breath or two here. And after you exhale one more time, gently unravel the body. Reach the arms high and breathe in. Lower the hands down and stretch the right leg out. And either just press into your hands or if you feel a bit more enthusiastic, see if you can pick the hips up, but keep the feet down. Take one more breath. And then gently lower and we'll repeat on the second side. So with the right leg straight, bend the left leg out, reach up through the fingertips as you breathe in and then gently fold forward, starting maybe just with the hands either side of the calf. Staying there is fine, but if your body will comfortably allow you to do so, start to move a little further forward. Sometimes it's nice just to rock the hips side to side to free up the sit bones. Try to keep the right toes and knee pointing straight up. Try to soften the face, the back of the neck and the shoulders, the places where we all tend to hold tension. Take one more breath here. And after you breathe out, gently sit back up, reach the arms high. And we'll move into our little side stretch. So stronger variation, right hand to left knee, easier right hand to left thigh. Turn a little to the left, and then start to bring your left hand over towards the right foot. There might be a hamstring stretch here, but we're really focusing on the side body stretch. If you know you're a bit of a back archer, pull the front ribs in a little. Just the last breath or two here. Try to lengthen all the way through the left side. and then sit back up. Reach high to the fingers and turn your upper body to the right. Either stay in that upright position or bring the right hand to the left thigh and the left hand to the right hip. Keep the crown of the head moving away from the sit bones. 
turn a little further as you take one more breath. And then unravel the spine. Reach the arms up high. And lowering the hands down, stretch the left leg out. And once more, either just press into the hands or if you're comfortable, see if you can pick up the hips and maybe slide them up and back a little bit further. And after one more breath, gently lower down. And then lie down on your stomach. We're just going to take a little cobra, a little bhujangasana here. So starting on the elbows, reach out through your toes, pull the shoulders back and stretch the collarbones and sternum forward. It's really nice sometimes just to stay in half cobra, even if you know you can go a bit further. Try to let the lower back and the belly remain relatively relaxed. And only if you feel really comfortable, lift a little higher, but make sure the hands are pulling towards the hips. Just hold here for a last breath or two. Make sure the shoulders are down. And on your next exhalation, just gently lower down and rest your head on your hand. Take a couple of deep breaths into the belly. Maybe give the hips a little rock side to side. And from there, just roll over onto your back. Stretch out into the fingers and toes, lengthen through the whole body. And then take your arms down by your sides and come into Shavasana, our final position. Make sure you're comfortable and symmetrical. Take two or three conscious deep breaths. And then just let your breath settle into its own rhythm. time you exhale, maybe the body becoming softer, more relaxed. As the body remains still, the breath becoming softer and quieter. And see if you can keep your mind just following the rise and fall of breathing, so that the inner chatter of the mind also starts to subside. Whenever your attention drifts off to another time or another place, just gently and without frustration bring it back to observing the present. And just let the body, the breath and the mind rest and return to stillness. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as feels appropriate today. Taking the opportunity to not do but 
rather just to be. And when you do move, just do so slowly and gently. And as you go about the activities of the day, see if you can stay connected to this sense of inner quiet, of inner stillness, of Shavasana. you for sharing the practice with me and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.